Audio recording on 12-2-2022-0633 a.m. Lunar Mission 19151818825 is led by astronauts Warren Moore, Hugh Jones, and Tim Wells. Day 1 of 7-Day Mission, Warren's Quarters. Hugh, good morning. Yeah, I suppose it is a good morning, Warren. Not that you can tell from in here, anyway. Uh, big weight off of our shoulders, making it out of the atmosphere safe. I'm still feeling the rush. God, it's been like forever. I've been wanting to catch up ever since I saw you at the training exercises. Yes, I'm glad I'm finally able to meet with you one-on-one -on -one after so long. Um, uh, well, you remember I used to say, my door is always open, right? You were welcome to pop next door to my house anytime. <laughs> you can knock on my living room window from yours after all. So, um, do you want to grab breakfast together? You know, good company makes the morning brighter or something like that. You've got some nerve. Uh, apologies? Did I say something wrong? Are you not a big breakfast fan anymore? You're really something else, you know that? Ruining everything I've built over the last decade and sweeping it all under the rug. <laughs> oh. Is this oh, about Bailey getting into your garden last June? Again, I'm really sorry about that. I looked for him all over the sub after I realized he'd gone now, but I didn't even think to check if he dug under the fence to your place until too late. You always had such lovely flowers. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. That's not the beast I'm talking about. Since you seem to have lost your oh-so-excellent memory, why don't I tell the story? On the night of the 29th of November, 2017, I was out for a walk around the neighborhood. Daughter's asleep, wife working the night shift, favorite song playing through my headphones. When I see a wolf sprinting toward me. Now, I'd lived in Ann Arbor my whole life, and I'd never even heard of a wolf in the area, much less seen one. At the time, I'll admit, I was a little out of shape. We only got so far down our block when the creature pounced on me. Figured it was just some freakish accident until that thing started snarling in my face. Let me tell you, it was awfully off-putting for a wolf's breath to smell like your boyfriend's famous strawberry rhubarb pie. It was even more so to see it wearing a bronze leather and navy blue watch, the one I got you for graduation that you've still got around your wrist right now. Oh. Oh, God. I still feel the pain of your claws running through me. These deep red gashes, these were you. The prosthetic leg, that was you. Doctors were able to patch me up pretty well, but it cost me. Turns out insurance isn't too keen on covering werewolf attacks. I lost my daughter's college fund. I spent so much time in the hospital that I lost my wife. That night you might have failed in killing me, but you destroyed my future. With nothing left to do back home, I figured, <laughs> figured I would get my revenge. Signed up for the same mission you were said to be on. I, I never knew I'd gotten out. Hugh, I I'm so incredibly sorry that I caused that. I, I had no idea. No idea you were there. I, I, I try to blindfold myself and stay in the basement those nights so I can't see the sky. But uh, something must have happened. <sighs> Look, when I go into, into that form, I don't have any control over what I do. I don't have any memories afterward. I think it's like complete instinct. When I wake up, it's like nothing happened. Believe me, I would have apologized then if I'd known. I paid your hospital bills. Why didn't you tell me? And how was I supposed to know how werewolf memory works? I guess you've got a point there. Listen, I know there's nothing I can say that could possibly make up for what you went through. But is there anything I can do now? Anything that could... Possibly. Whoa, I knew it. I tell you two to get a room, but it looks like you've already done that. You two lovebirds have fun. It, it's not what it looks like. I. There's a perfectly logical reason for me to be half naked. Alrighty, <laughs> whatever you say. The first thing you can do is make sure your goddamn door is closed. You opened it? Shut up, just... There's only one thing you're going to do. 
Five days from now, we'll be in a position to observe the full moon in all its glory before we land. I'm going to drag you out to the big window in the cockpit. You're going to turn, and I'm going to put this silver bullet in your empty furry skull. After all, there ain't no out-of-orbit laws about killing wolves, are there? Once I get to base, I, I promise this will never happen to anyone else. The whole reason I took this mission, it's... I took a lunar mission in order to never turn again. I can never see the whole moon if I'm only ever seeing a tiny fraction of the surface. I never wanted to hurt anyone! Well, that still doesn't bring back my family or my leg, does it? I'm glad you're taking steps to be safer, but you'll be perfectly safe as a rug on my living room floor. Whoa! Uh, that's a little harsh, don't you think? You tried to kill me first. Hugh! Hugh, I know I've caused you harm. I get that you're really upset, and you've been holding on to this anger for a long time now. Who can blame you? I know that that night must have been traumatic, but but please, Hugh, murder? I've always... We're friends! Tell me, Warren. Was I your only victim, or were there others? Obviously, you botched it with me. How many times did you succeed? Hugh, I swear to you, that was an accident. It was the one singular only time that has ever happened. That you know of? Hugh, listen, I... For so long, I wondered why you cut off all contact. No more TV Tuesdays. You stopped texting me progress photos of the art you were working on. You started turning your eyes away when we saw each other across the street. This was all just such a gigantic misunderstanding. I don't want everything we had to fall apart because of this mess. <sighs> Look, I am sorry. Honest to God, I am sorry. I never knew this happened until today. I understand why you acted the way you did. I, I understand you were hurt and that it's going to take time for you to trust me again. But we can build this bridge again. Together. You don't understand a goddamn thing. Audio recording on 12-3-2022, a.m., Ship's Galley, Day 2 of 7-Day Mission. Good morning, Hugh. Blueberry pancakes? Well, I remember we had them at your end of fourth grade slumber party. Your smile lit up the room when you smelled your mom making them. I searched through the storerooms to unthaw the strawberry milk, too. At least we know your memory isn't completely defunct. <laughs> Never was. I remember that same morning <laughs> you changed out of your Transformers pajamas into a periwinkle button-up shirt because you were having lunch with your grandfather that afternoon. <laughs> Good times. Yeah, I remember when I... You've got four days left, more. Make as many memories as you can. Hey, 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 do I smell pancakes? My favorite. Morning, Warren. Hugh, you two seem happy about something. Uh, no. <sighs> Never mind. It's nothing. Excuse me, I'm suddenly not feeling well. I'm going to return to my quarters. More pancakes for me. So, did you hear that? They're adding lions to all of the space missions. I mean, it sounds crazy, right? Who ever heard of space lions? Lions in space? Like, oh my god, did you think that would be like a cheetah or a tiger? Audio recording on 12 4 2022 2225 p.m. Recreation room. Day 3 of 7 day mission. Care to join me for a round of Mario Kart? Are you serious? I know you like the game. We used to play it all the time together. I've unlocked all of the racers, so you can start off playing your main. You've got three days left to live, and you're playing Mario Kart. Well, there's not too much else to do until we land, is there? Besides, I enjoy spending time with you. You're sick in the head. Don't you got a kink for people who've promised to kill you? No, I don't. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> is it deviant to want to play video games with an old friend? <sighs> I suppose not. And over the controller. Too slow! 
I can't believe you fell for that old trick. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Real mature. Give me that. Hey. Ha. Give me that. No. <laughs> No, hey! Get That's that. mine! No! <laughs> hey guys, have you seen my- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Come on guys, this is a common space. Have some decency. My eyes! We're, We're not, not together. together! Chill, dudes. I don't judge. Just put like a sock on the doorknob or something, you know? Wouldn't want to walk on, on anything personal. Um, I mean, it's not- We're just playing video games. Uh-huh. I see. Well, have fun with your video game. So, Mario Kart? Mario Kart. I'm amazed this old thing still runs. Ha! Same kart build, too. Still stacking all of your points in speed, huh? From what I can recall, I won a majority of the matches we played. Only because you secretly kept smart steering on. <laughs> Completely irrelevant to the conversation, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so, what cup are you up for? Rainbow Road, obviously. So, the special cup? Yeah, and then I get to kick your ass in Bowser's Castle, too. <laughs> <laughs> I miss this. Missed video game graphics from 30 years ago. Miss hanging out with you. Well, lucky you, huh? You get to spend the rest of your life with me. Not a bad way to go. You're so weird. You love that about me. It certainly made our group projects back in school rather interesting. <laughs> Remember that time when we invented a rocket ship that ran on pancakes? <laughs> Faintly, but yeah. I took the poster board with me when I moved. It's in my closet back on our street. Found it while looking for an old uh, Halloween costume. I was going to show you at your uh, annual October barbecue a few years ago, but yeah. You kept that old thing? Pretty sure we were still using Dino Safe Search when we were doing research. I swear every kid in the class just started typing in curse words only to be met with oops, no results, and yeah. I wasn't very keen on the sight of you that year, for previously mentioned reasons. First year we missed our super special secret Santa gifts. Yeah. First year, we didn't build a snowman together. Yeah. Do you miss it? Being close? I... I do. I do miss it. But things have changed. I'm... No. Neither of us are the people we once were. Warren, you know what has to be done. Audio recording on 12 6 2022 11:34 a.m. Warren's Quarters Day 4 of 7-day mission I demand that you open this door Well, good afternoon. Did you leave flowers in my room? Where the hell did you even get these? I brought a few things from home. Among which you brought purple hyacinths. You know I hate the purple ones. What? I, I remember you insisted on having them in your arrangements of white roses back during your wedding. I thought they really do add a lovely pop of color. And they look so nice as accents in Michelle's bouquet. You, you don't like them? No, I... <sighs> thank you. Doesn't change the fact that you got two days before I shoot you dead, but thank you. Anything to make you smile, Hugh Boo. Don't call me that. We're not in college anymore. We both went our separate ways. For less than a year, you only worked for that firm out in Chicago until the leaves started to change color. You had the chance to move anywhere with that kind of cash, and you picked the property right next to mine. I got the house for less than market value, and it was in a fantastic school district. Were those the only reasons? You've got no right to dive into my personal life. I've been there for all of your personal life, Hugh. We called each other to show off the baby teeth we lost. We went to Robotics Engineering Nationals together. <laughs> I went to the wedding cake tasting with you and Michelle because you thought I had better taste buds. I made sure you picked matcha chocolate chip over that dry, powdery white cake Michelle was so keen on. Won't you just tell me how you feel just this one last time? I can't, Warren. You don't know the full story of what happened. Since the, uh... Wolf attack? Since the end of college. Then tell me, please. It, it's not like 
the message is going to spread anyhow. Won't you grant me this as a final request? Warren, I... Do you know what purple hyacinths mean? Yeah, they're an apology. A bouquet of them expresses deep sorrow. I didn't know that you knew what they meant. Why did you have them at your wedding? Don't make me say it, Warren. Please. Who are you saying sorry to, E? To Michelle. To you. I didn't love her, Warren. Well, no, that's a bit extreme. I guess I felt like I didn't love her as much as I should have loved someone I was marrying. I was unsure. I had doubts. I thought they would go away after all the wedding stress was over, but they never did. What are you talking about, Hugh? You always seem so happy whenever I saw you two together. I mean, at first I was excited to be with her. We met in a late-night pizza place while she was studying for her master's. This was after I took that job at Chicago. We spent so many nights together walking along the Chicago River and asking to take sips of each other's smoothies. She introduced me to dancing. I taught her how to use a telescope. We were perfect for a while, Warren. You have to understand. I remember how invested you were in getting her the perfect engagement ring. We must have driven to every jeweler in a hundred miles. What happened? I can't really put my finger on it. We both might have been too invested in work to look after each other. We might have fought too frequently over the colors of the tablecloths or the size of the guest list. She wanted to move to the West Coast for better career prospects, but I, despite myself, didn't want to be far from you, in spite of my jealousy. And by the time stamped on those shimmering save the date cards, I was too unsure to call it off. I was sorry she was marrying a man who wasn't fully committed. Jealousy? Uh, Hugh, you don't mean... Please tell me you don't. I do. I'll be honest, back in college, I saw you grow closer with your boyfriend senior year, and I just couldn't take it anymore. It stung every time I saw him kiss you. But I cared about you. I couldn't tell you to not see someone you loved just because it made me unhappy. Part of the reason I took that job in Chicago was just to get away for a while, clear my head. Then I met Michelle, and I figured with both of us partnered up, we could each be happy in our own relationships, but I don't know. Maybe I did love her, and it just didn't work out. Maybe I was so desperate to kill my jealousy that I ignored everything about us that didn't work. I, I don't know. Oh, God. Hugh. <laughs> don't <laughs> laugh. <laughs> You've had a crush on me all this time? Since senior year of high school. <laughs> Always. But I was too afraid to say anything. I, I didn't want to lose our friendship. Always? Didn't a new guy just ask you to start living with him a few months back? How did you know about that? We haven't spoken since he and I met. Mailman keeps accidentally giving me all your ads for moving companies. Plus, it's kind of hard to miss when a bright red Tesla parks in your neighbor's driveway every day. I put the pieces together. I was hesitant to accept. Once you stopped talking to me out of the blue half a decade ago, I lost a bit of hope. I truly believed you never wanted to see me again. Jacob is wonderfully kind and smart, but there was always this feeling in the bottom of my heart that he was wrong because he wasn't you. What about Mark? You guys won Best Couple in our university yearbook. Honestly, I thought the two of you were going to get married at some point. I mean, the two of us considered it, but one day, it was like I just woke up and realized that things didn't feel right. It was some offhand comment a neighbor made, though, from the back. She couldn't tell you and Mark apart. After that, this fear just crept over me. I started noticing the similarities between you two, the way both of you walk... The way both of you wore your hair in brunette curls. And then it got worse. I saw that both of you had freckles on your nose. And soft green eyes. And uh, I felt absolutely awful. After that, I couldn't look at Mark the same way again. That's quite a lot to process. Yeah. Where do we go from here? The plan doesn't change. Ah, uh, okay. I'll see you tomorrow then, Hugh. Audio recording on 12 7 2022 0504.
a.m. Navigation Bay. Day 5 of 7-Day Mission. Already here, huh? Figured I'd save you the trouble of having to drag me across the ship. You get out of here with a little less back pain. No blindfold either. Not gonna make this a fight at all, are you? I only find it right at this point to do what you ask of me. In that case, we've got just a few seconds until the moon is in position. Any last words? I love you. <laughs> I... I can't. So this is how it ends. Killed by my sentimentality. Fuck. That was always your thing. Oh my god. I... No! I never wanted this... Ugh, why didn't you just kill me when I was a mindless beast? You had the opportunity. And now I've hurt you again. I love you too. These past three days... <coughs> you've reminded me of the side of you I've always loved. Since we're both out of a relationship, I guess now would have been the perfect time, huh? Funny how things work out. No. No. No! You! You! Oh my god, this is absolutely not funny! Wake up! Wait, you have to wake up! No! I can fix this. I have to fix this! I'm sorry. What the? I'm sorry. It was the only way. I had to turn you. I understand if you don't want to see me ever again. I understand if you have to cut me out again. So I'm going to be doing all that transforming nonsense? Well, <laughs> yes, but you should not never have to. We're landing on the moon shortly. I know I turned you without consent. I I'm sorry. It was the only way to save you. I couldn't just let you die. And now there aren't really any consequences? That's my brainiac. Don't look. We're circling the moon again. He'll transform. Whoa, I didn't know you guys were into that kind of stuff. Can I tell him? He should know, just in case something happens. We don't want any other big misunderstandings. At this point, why not? We're both werewolves now? Alright, if that's what you're into.